Hello there. Only one Kenobi here, only one. And welcome to episode five of Shelf Indulgence. Welcome. Bit of a gap in the production. I had to stop everything before I could move forward. There's been a lot happening in this room. The first thing I did, you might hear an echo now. My friend and I, and I'm gonna make a video out of this, we put UV filters on these windows here, which means I can finally get rid of the curtains that were there and there. And man, it's so much better in here. It's great. So I'll make a video about that. I got some time-lapse footage of us doing the job. And then that is that. As far as this series is concerned, I had to, well, I did one minor adjustment, which took ages, way longer than I expected. And now it meant that uh, I had to stop everything because I decided I would move down stuff. So I've moved what was Empire Strikes Back, which was on these shelves. It started about their empire. I thought I'd move it to start here, which then meant I had to move down Re Return of the Jedi. And I moved out the sequels, basically. I don't want to lose sequel figures. In fact, they're here temporarily. I do like the design of the First Order. I will work them in somehow. Maybe some more shelves on the lower level there. But basically, I couldn't do any more episodes until I was happy with it. I'm still not 100% happy with it now, but um, I will be. It's just a work in progress, and who cares? I just want to get the series running. So here we are. This is episode five. I'll talk to you again about the changes that I've made. You might even spot now. There's not much that's changed with the uh, New Hope that you saw previously, other than I've moved a few of the figures that were here, the Empire that were part of the Rogue One shelf, and I've moved them into this space here. I've moved across and made bigger the Obi-Wan and Vader clash. And I've obviously, this is a bit bare now, this shelf here. This is the Yavin 4 ceremony, which was uh, well deep into where the Empire Strikes Back figures were, but still I can fit, you know, I can fill that out one way or another. But let's just get the series up and running. Oh yeah, there's other changes back here as well. I've moved some Return of the Jedi figures here. And then, you know, there's also gaps. I will f sort it out. Let's just get on with the Empire Strikes Back. Um, and here we are, it starts here. And the Empire Strikes Back, as you know, begins with... Well, Echo 3, Echo 7. Panel, buddy, you hear me? Loud and clear, kid. What's up? Well, I finished my circle, I can figure... Yeah, whatever. You know the... <laughs> you know what I mean. These were previously over there with beasts. See, this is my beast shelves over there. You know, beasts, panthers, rontos, and blah de blah Now it's turning into a little bit of a Tatooine shelf again, you know, a Tatooine section, wild Tatooine. However, over here, it didn't seem right with Hoth creatures amongst hot climate creatures like Banthas and blah de blah So they were out of place and I'm just glad to have them back here because I wanted these beasts as part of the timeline. You know, all these shelves are in chronology, all the events, and the feedback has been great. You seem to enjoy how I display, but these guys, I'm glad to have them part of it because this is what Lucas wanted. Look at that. Knights on horseback. Well, they're not horses, but you know what I mean. Um, and it's almost a little bit of expanded universe. This, this is just before they left Echo Base. You've got Luke all kitted out there. And that figure of Han is stupendous, by the way. It's from the search from Luke's, for Luke Skywalker set. Do check out those reviews. I've got also a, re a review of that taunt on there. The snow monster. This is in proper chronology now. That's the Luke after the mauling from the uh, creature. Look at that. Nice. And then obviously we have parked here oh, my favourite snow speeder, which is Rogue 2. And I love Zeb Sineska, man. There's something so cool about him when I was a kid. Probably because he's the first pilot you see. I just wanted to be Zeb Sineska so much. We move on. And then we have Inside Echo Base. You know, my displays are very simple. I have since learned how good it can be to use diorama pieces. There you go, see that's an epic piece. And there's some sections here which I wish I had a backdrop of the Death Star window pattern, you know what I mean? That would really set these off now. But anyway, all in good time. Over here we've got Echo Base now, and of course the revival of Luke Skywalker in the back to, back to tank. You've got FX7 there, Han and Leia. Um, it's a great figure of Leia that I used to have that figure of Leia in the middle of a briefing of which I had, you know, two fires against that Star Destroyer, you know, with the skull caps there, you know, they were all kind of facing her, her back was to us because you know, it's not a bad face, facial sculpt, but if the figure doesn't really work, she doesn't know where she's looking there. Um, I have them facing the other way. Let's have a look at her facial sculpt. It's all right, I guess, but I just fancy just having them looking on in concern as Luke is in the back of the tank. Of course, 2-1-B there. Get it in the vintage collection. We move on. Hang on, let me just adjust myself. Oh, God. Ah, and here we are now. I should have moved this Falcon back, shouldn't I, really? 
in my way. We are in Echo Base now. This guy's fallen over. I should really check before I uh, start these videos. This is in inside Echo Base. You've got the deck officer there. That ain't Luke Skywalker. It's a deck officer. You've got Captain Macquarie there, or Commander Ma General Macquarie, and you've got um, forgotten her name. Oh, come on. I want to remember. Torin Far. Torin Far. Yeah, Torin Far. And another Han Solo there. I know that's different. We've had Han. It yeah, I don't know. He might have put his gear back on. Um, yeah. But anyway, that's kind of the, to mock up the indoor section of the Echo Base. You know, where the, um, you know, the vehicles are parked and stuff. It's crazy in the background. These are army builders. It's Luke Skywalker, Luke Skywalker, and Han Solo from Power of the Force 2. That's from the uh, Wampa set, actually, that one there. But still, look at him. They just look like general sol soldiers, you know. Generic people milling about. Across we go. You still kind of got that thing of Han there trying to fix the Falcon, I guess. And Chewie, that figure's specifically for that. This figure comes from Solo. It's just a generic blue um, I've moved him actually. I think I used to have him up there with the Tanti 4. Everyone was asking about him. What kind, what droid is that? It comes from the Solo 4 pack from the um, Disney Parks Droid Factory line. One of four figures that were apparently in Solo. He's got a restraining bolt there, which is quite interesting. But um, I just have him milling about. And then we move to a kind of the exterior now. And here they are, the boys, the rebel soldiers, the, the snow rebel soldiers, hence why they're wearing white as opposed to this gentleman with the beige is interior and of course this is a great piece to have the laser cannon of course this droid here i have two of them for some reason gotta be checking at the other end wait a second i love his relationship with droids man he's not a fan is he a bit like mandalorian doesn't dig droids either there's a bit of a prejudice about against droids droids of course Ruha doesn't allow them in the bar either anyway i'm digressing that's another Power of the Force 2 figure, just facing them away because they're not the greatest figures, but from that angle they do a job, don't they? They fill the space there. So you've got the laser cannon, and then we transition to outdoors. I know we do see Luke outdoors. I just thought I'd have the boys since they are all at the rendezvous point. As I say, I've had different variations of my display. I've, I used At one point I had them all surrounding Leia, having a meeting, except for him, of course, because he wasn't really at the meeting, Luke. He was joined later, didn't he? So there is an ensemble of the Battle of Hothman. Key players... Wedge. Sadly, I don't have um, Hobby. You can get Derek Hobby, I think, and you can also get uh, Jansen. Good shot, Jansen. I love that. He's the that's the best. He's in it, you know. Den Dennis Lawson. He's, he's best in Battle of Hoth, I think. Um, they were awesome. There you go. And there's Luke Skywalker there. A brilliant figure. You might have noticed the head sculpt. This is the body of the Dagobah landing Luke. It's a brighter orange. That's the repack of it. Same sculpt, but it's a darker orange, and it came in the Saga Legends line. I head swapped him. I put the head of the Saga Legends one, and I swapped it because I wanted the head of the Luke that came with the Dagobah landing to go. Yes, you guessed it. Right? There. Because I wanted a really good head sculpt for Luke. So anyway, there you go. You can't tell because he's got the helmet on. Still looks like Mark Hamill. In the background, I'm playing around here. I can't even remember where I got these figures, but they are... That's even better bit out of focus there. Force perspective, ladies and gentlemen. They are smaller than the size of the three and three quarter inch figures. I don't know if they're part of a chess piece or a board game or what, but anyway, um, they're in the background just to give you a sense of scale because we're trying to push out to Hoth now. The Battle of Hoth, speaking of which, it's not a vehicle tour, but still look at that beast. <laughs> this is a flattering angle or not. Let me lie back. It is the Legacy Collection at at, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I'll do a separate tour for vehicles. Up I get. Ugh. You just got a teaser for Bespin there. Um, there you are. And then, of course, we move into... Oh, excuse the camera work. Very shaky. We have to move this thing out of the way. There you are. Let's see the tint. There's more of a tint on the windows now, by the way. So I do have blinds still, and I put them down. Uh, it shouldn't be too dark in here for, me, for you to not be able to see what's going on. Anyway... Here we have the Imperials. And look at that, they've got their cannon set up. We've got the two guys, or the several, well, two guys of many that stormed. You've got the commander in the background. Oh, and of course, the 8080 drivers. Get them in the vintage collection, especially this mold here. This is from the Saga Legends line, from the Rebels line. That is definitive. Look at him. Look at that helmet sculpt. Distance to power generator. 
Anyway, that's General Veers there. I want to do a video on him. There's so much to talk about with him in regards to the vintage collection. The car back alternative is that you, the options are, end, well, not endless, but they've got lots of different options there. This is just a little bit of an imperial sprinkling there. This is what I consider the Battle of Hoth people. And this is not General Veers. People think it is. It's not. That is just a generic Atat commander. Just like the one that you got in the 80s, we all thought, in fact, he's in here. The one from the 80s I put in here, actually. There he is. Um, I, we all used to pretend it was General Veers, but actually he was called Attack Commander, wasn't he? Um, so, yeah, it could be General Veers. Who the hell are we kidding? Um, but this is actually a much better facial sculpt. You can see Julian Glover there a bit more, can't you? And that figure of Vader is not a good one. That's why I've gotten facing that way. It looks like he's sort of... Deme the, uh, he's sort of commanding people. And that is Hoth, we are done. Moving along. Ugh, oh, oh my God. This is a nightmare, ladies and gentlemen. I really should, I really should have, I really should have cleared that. I should have, this, this should have been cleared. It really should have been cleared. I'll just put the flash on, what am I doing? There you go, it's off. Dagobah, ladies and gentlemen, planet Dagobah. And there we have uh, a bit of a, Sprinkling of uh, figures. We've got Luke there landing. I, I just basically, even though I acquired this recently, this dirty R2-D2, I just had to use this one here. It's such a great figure of R2. So he's dirty, dirty, yeah, you know what I mean? So there you are. Great, great Yoda there as well. Lovely facial sculpt. Shame we didn't get him on a vintage card. It was an orange, the orange card black series line. And there's some more activity there. Luke training. Um... On his doing a handstand there, Yoda watching on, I guess. That's, I, don't, I don't know where I got that. My sister got me that years ago. It's just a nice little figure, the right scale, I guess. So I thought I'd put that amongst there. Um, very plain again. I'm starting to think maybe I should have um, some, some backgrounds and stuff. But, you know, at the end of the day, that's magnolia colour. That, you know, at least it highlights the figures. He sort of draws your attention onto them. Look at this. Bounty hunters. We don't need their scum. Yes, sir. Here they are. That's pretty much the whole team. You've got Bosk. This is the, probably one of the best figures they ever made in the vintage. Look at that amazing figure, as is this, IG-88. This is a good Boba, or was a good Boba Fett figure. We've since, uh, he's since been eclipsed. Beautiful colors though, lovely, lovely paint job. Of course, this is the best I can get, I'm afraid, for um, Fall Arm. It's a good figure though. Look at that lovely weathering they did. It's like a little blondesy rust effect for Fall Arm for the Empire Strikes Back. And um, I'd love to get the Vintage Collection one, though. A really good figure. Dengar. I was watching a video I did about Dengar about four years ago. It will be... F it's not even four years. It will be four years in August. And I was talking about buying one for £16 and £30. Good God. Now you'll be lucky to get him for less than 100 You know what I mean? Unbelievable. They should repack him. And then here is Zuckus. Great. Formerly known as Forlan. That used to be Zuckus in the 80s. Let's move into Bespin, shall we? And we sort of tease it in with the Ugnaughts in the background. Lobot, see the administrative side of things here. Fortunately, I only have one guard and that is him there. We've got Chewie trying to fix 3PO. And of course, I quite like doing that. I just needed Leia to look away, to be honest. It's not the best figure of her. Um, oh, I'm just sitting on something. This has just been delivered actually today. Look at this. Shame I couldn't include it on my, my video for and you hope do check it I'll leave a description I'll leave a link in the description for all the series that would be cool to add to it and then we move along see I've got these accessories recently in a job lot for Bespin shift it here I hope I'm not making you sick with the movement of the camera great accessories to have and then I've got Chewie holding the other bit it does light up if you put the head against the, like the battery mechanism there and then here is just Luke look at that great figure I like to see Luke just with the hilt hanging from the belt. It's good. So he's arriving. There's danger afoot. He's been sucked into the web. You've got Han there. It's pre. Oh, she's in the wrong costume. I just didn't know where to put that figure. But that's a great figure. That is from the OTC line. It's better than this figure, which is vintage collection. That figure looks nothing like Carrie Fisher. It looks more like, I can't even put a finger on who it looks like, but it looks like anyone other than Carrie Fisher. From that angle, it's good. The hair's great. It's from Tungori that there's a pattern missing from the skirt, the dress. And there is Han. You busted, buddy. Got, oh, now we move across. We've got Boba Fett now getting some orders from Vader. Look at that 
gesture. That's the number six Black Series Orange line, which is very like the Vintage Collection VC08 Vader, except it's solid though. And then here we go. You can see you've got the Empire taking charge of things. Now the Garrison are involved. You've got this guy. That's actually Admiral Piet, that figure, but it looks nothing like the guy who played Admiral Piet. Forgive me, I'd forgotten his name. But it does serve a good purpose that, as you know, there was several guys milling around with Vader in Cloud City, and he's just supposed to be direct in traffic. You know, you've got all these stormtroopers. It kind of works in that Cloud City environment. Stormtroopers everywhere. Just like the, they, they arrived right before you did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, I'm bloody blah. And there's a, I love that scene. Lobot comes around the corner. Where is Lobot? I've got several Lobots. We're going forward there, there you go. Um, and all the stormtroopers just run out. You just think, my God, man, they're busted in the dinner scene. And then here we are, we've got Luke Skywalker, another figure of Luke, just um, lightsaber in hand, sort of echoes the stance he had you know, at the top of the, you're not the Jedi yet. Um, I'm trying something out here as well, folks. As I say, this video is, you know, I'm going ahead with it, but there's other things I was going to try out, and I've done this instead. I do have the ability to have two pieces together. I've got two Carbonite sets, and I will do it in future, but for now, I just wanted to demo this to show you what it looked like. Um, it would be really good to have these Luke's set around that full diorama set up, but again, for me to have it in the shelves, I can't have obviously the whole diorama piece. So I thought I'd just try a section of it. I have tried this before, but I didn't have the space previously, so I got rid of it. Now I've made more space by getting rid of the sequels. Um, but firstly, here we go. This is a good figure of Luke. This is the VT, v, the Vintage Saga Collection, Luke Skywalker Bespin. Terrible facial sculpt. Wow, wow. But looking that way, it's good. It's a really good figure, so I just thought I'd have that Vader, Vader facing Luke. As we have again here, another vintage. I've got several VC06s. Is it VC06? VC07, one of the two. And there, he, there they are. Looks a bit bright there. Hang on, let me see if I can change the, the tone there. Maybe a bit darker. Anyway, great figure. You are beaten. Well, actually, it's not that big where he says you are beaten, but there they are, wrestling, fighting in Bespin, Cloud, Cloud City, Carbonite Chamber, brilliant. Uh, my dream, if I ever won the lottery, was to have a Star Wars collecting room mocked up like this. Have all the freezing chamber, have the sound effects going, Vader breathing. And that was, yeah, that's just letting you inside my head there. My, my fantasy for a Star Wars, ultimate Star Wars collecting room would be mocked up like that. Because it's one of my favourite scenes, the scene when Vader meets Luke. Bosk's Bounty was saying his favourite scene is Luke and Vader when they meet in Return of the Jedi. I prefer this scene. I just love that scene in the chamber. You are not a Jedi yet. He's not revealed the truth of who he is at that point. To him, he's the guy who killed his father. There's a lot going on there. And then I've just thought I'd just have these here as a nod to the chase at the end and the escape. And then finally, well, that's Luke getting his ass kicked, basically. I've got all these props here as well for... The final bit. I did try and have that figure there on his own, just sort of outstretched, but um, which he could do. I just, the way I balanced it, I just, it's even to just have them facing each other. That's a good figure. I remember getting that one if you're watching BOE in Wandsworth. And it's Luke getting his ass kicked, man. And that's another figure just to, you know, it's not really soft goods or anything. It's just, um, it'll do to do a job. The bowl, sort of like he's all over him. I mean, he is all over him in that film. Luke is just totally outmatched. Not only physically, but mentally. It's all over him. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. That is a bit longer than normal, that video. I just wanted to get it out because I know a lot of people are waiting. If you want to see something else cool that I thought I would try? I've extended the Kenobi battle and I put this here. This is just an empty cloak with a lightsaber hilt on it. That's just fallen out of his hand, but obviously there's got some support with him, some troopers and stuff, but that's basically, I'll play around with the idea. Somebody had that idea in the comments, thank you, I've forgotten who you are, but I thought I'd try it. You must be thinking, what the hell happened then? Just like Kylo Ren, I love that scene with Kylo and Luke, you know, when he realizes he's a force projection, I love that. The music is epic from John Williams, and he's just like, couldn't believe it. Kylo Ren, Adam Driver's performance is fantastic. His face is a picture. You can't see Vader's face in the mask, but he must have been thinking, what the hell kind of, what sorcery is this? To quote 
Count Dooku. It's incredible, isn't it? Unbelievable. So I think we're good to go ahead with Return of the Jedi soon. Leave it with me for another couple of days. Maybe there might be another gap in the videos, but I just want to make sure everything is right. Thank you so much for watching. I've talked quite a long time on that one because there's so much to tell you. But stay tuned for the rest of the series. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new around here, subscribe. This has been Only One Kenobi. Sorry, mind the squeaky boards. I'm walking on squeaky boards here. Only one. <laughs> Out. <laughs>